Your next lesson is about the discriminant. Alam niyo, alam niyo ba na ang discriminant ay makukuha o nandito sa ating quadratic formula? Ang discriminant na tinatawag natin ay yung nasa loob na expression sa ating square root. We have the b square minus 4ac. Ayan. Ngayon tinatawag natin discriminant. Saan nagagamit si discriminant? Well, ginagamit natin yan to determine the nature of roots ng ating quadratic equation. O, try mo natin mag-solve ng ating discriminant. O, number one tayo. x squared plus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, diretso na tayo. Substitute na kagad natin sa ating formula. So, discriminant is equal to 4 square, the b square, minus 4 times, a natin is 1 times, c natin is 4. Ayan. The next, 4 square, 16. Minus 4 times 1, times 4, that is 16. Simplifying, we have 16 minus 16, which is 0. Ah, yan naman yung value ng ating discriminant. Discriminant is equal to 0. Next example tayo. Let's say we have x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. Ayan. Formula, then substitute. B square, so 7 square, minus 4 times A natin, 1 times C natin, 10. 7 square, that is 49, minus 4 times 1, 4 times 10, 40. So 4 times, uh, 40, 49 minus 40, that is 9. Yeah. Third tayo, third example. Let's say we have x squared plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. Uh, pwede nyo muna i-pause then continue mamaya to verify or to check your answer. Substitute tayo d is equal to 6 square minus 4 times 1 times 3. 6 square, or well, 6 times 6, 36, minus 4 times 1, 4 times 3, 12. Is equal to 36 minus 12, that is 24. So, madali lang si discriminant, ano? Next tayo, Number 4, x squared minus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, d is equal to, substitute natin, negative 2 squared minus 4 times c. Uh, a is 1 times c, 5. Negative 2 squared, that is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5, 20 is equal to negative 16. So, pansinin natin yung ating mga discriminant. So, meron tayo dito 0, 9, 24, and negative 16. Diyan ngayon, papasok yung ating nature of roots. Sa ating nature of roots, kapag ang discriminant natin, isulat natin, nature of roots. Kapag ang discriminant natin is greater than zero and perfect square, then ang nature niyan ay real, rational, and unequal. 
Nature niya, real, rational, and unequal roots. Yan. Kapag naman ang discriminant natin ay discriminant is greater than zero but not a perfect square. A perfect square. Then ang roots natin ay real this time, irrational, irrational, and unequal. Alang ganyan lang din. What if D is equal to zero? Gain example natin number one. Then, ang ating nature of roots are real. Rational and equal na siya. Pasin nyo dito, yung given natin mismo, perfect square number. Oh, yun ang lalabas, ang discriminant natin ay zero. At kapag ang discriminant natin is less than zero, that means kapag ang discriminant ay negative numbers, kaya na example number four natin, that is, ang nature ng rule natin, Nature of roots natin is no real roots. Okay, dyan papasok na yung nature of roots. Kaya mahalaga talaga na alam yung ating discriminant. Nature of roots, quadratic equation. So dito sa nature of roots, kailangan muna natin kunin yung discriminant. Ang discriminant natin ay si b squared minus 4ac. Yan yung formula natin. So, kapag na-solve na natin, let's say ang discriminant natin ay greater than zero and a perfect square, ang nature of roots niya ay real number, rational, pag sinabi natin rational, can be fraction or decimal, then unequal roots. So, magkaiba yung roots natin. D is greater than zero but not a perfect square. Yung ating nature of roots, real number siya, irrational. Ibig sabihin na sa square root. And unequal roots, magkaiba din. If D is equal to zero, real, rational, and equal. Ito yung tinatawag nating double roots. Kapag perfect square trinomial, ito yung nakukuha natin. And if the discriminant is less than zero, the nature of root is no real root. So, ibig sabihin, imaginary yun. So, try natin example. Describe the nature of roots of x squared minus 4x is equal to negative 4. Yan. So, kuhin mo natin yung discriminant niya. Pero bago yun, i-check mo natin kung nasa standard form siya. So, equate natin Sa 0, so transpose natin si 4, magiging plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, solve for discriminant. B square minus 4AC. Yung nasa loob ng ating square root sa quadratic formula. Then substitute natin. Ang B natin is negative 4. Square minus 4 times. Ang A natin ay 1. Tapos ang C natin ay 4. Negative 4 square, that is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 4, 16 then. So, ang discriminant natin ay 0. Our D is 0. Describe natin siya, real, rational, and equal roots. Yeah. So, sabi natin kanina, PST ito. So, i-check ba natin kung PST natin ito? PST ba? Yes. X squared minus 4, negative 4X plus 4. Perfect square trinomial siya. Kaya yung discriminant niya ay 0. 
Okay, try pa natin. May example. Erase natin. Other example tayo. 2x squared minus 7x plus 7 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, naka-standard form na siya. Substitute na lang natin sa ating discriminant. So, D is equal to B squared minus 4AC. Then, ang B natin ay negative 7 squared minus 4. A natin is 2. Ang C natin ay 7. Negative 7 squared, that is 14 minus 4 times 2. 8 times 7, 8 times 7, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56. So, 56. 14 minus 56, negative. Ilan yan? Negative, third. 14 minus 56, so carry 1. Uh, subtract natin. 14 minus 56, negative. Ilan? 42. Negative 42. So ang discriminant natin ay negative 42. Negative siya. Less than zero. So, ang nature natin ay no real roots. Yan yung kapag nasa square natin, negative 42. Kapag nasa ating quadratic formula. Okay, last example. Let's say, Meron tayong 10x squared is equal to 8x plus 8. I-reduce natin into lowest term. Divide natin ng 2. So, can be written as 5x squared is equal to 4x plus 4. Then, gawin natin siyang standard form. Transpose. 5x squared minus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. Then, substitute natin sa ating discriminant is b squared minus 4ac. So, we have negative 4 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 4. Negative 4 squared, that is 16. Negative 4 times 5, negative 20 times negative 4. Positive 80. So, add. Tama? 20 times 4, 2, 4, 6, 8. Tama, 80. So, this is 96. Si 96 ngayon, greater than 0 siya, but not a perfect square. But not a perfect square. So, ang nature natin ay real, irrational, and an equal roots. So ayan. Yan yung ating nature of roots.